How's it going, everyone? Thank you all for tuning in today. I appreciate all of you who stopped by to uh, tune into these streams. Uh, we're just going to get going in today. Um, I did no work off camera, but that's pretty normal that I haven't done any work off camera. So <laughs> let's check on our agricraft crops because I know we need to do that. All right, let's make sure our magnet is on. Okay, um, something I did at the end of last stream um, was make two more backpacks. One was to replace the one I threw off the edge, which you can find a clip on my channel of. Um, so we lost all of our blood magic and woot stuff because I'm an idiot. But I need a nuclear craft one because we already started making um, uranium. So that's what we got going there. Um, let's check on these seeds. These Nissus, ah, they might be done. I doubt it, but they might be. Okay, let's throw all those off the edge. Nine, ten, ten. Very close. Very close. All right. So over here, we're gonna throw in our nickel, and then the gravel, and then. We're going to plant those narcissist seeds. Those narcissistic seeds. Hopefully these osmonium ones are done. They are not. Alright, let's throw all that in there. Oops, don't want to throw that in there. Okay, so something we need to do is we need to make a fission reactor. Are we? Yeah, just set up a fission reactor. Um, which I know how to do that pretty easily. It just means we need a lot of graphite and stuff. So I'm actually going to make a whole bunch of graphite quick. So we're going to shove four stacks of coal through our furnace. Um, and then, yeah, because empty coolers require steel and tough alloy. The graphite just requires graphite. The fission reactor transparent one just requires glass, but that's fine. This requires tough alloy and bla basic plating. This requires the reactor casing. Um, the reactor cell requires tough alloy. So we're going to need some more tough alloy, which is uh, lithium and ferroboron. So, <coughs> pardon me. We should get some lithium. Is there any way to, to sieve out lithium? No, it doesn't look like it. That is fine. Um, you know, we have, oh, why is there draconium in here? What? That's kind of strange, but okay. All right. Um, so we need some lithium. Um, let's go into this dimension. And let's go ahead and mine some lithium. Because I know where some is. Well, I say I know where some is. I mean, um, there's some everywhere. But... Alright. So, we're just going to kind of pick up. Here's some uranium. We'll pick that up. Any nuclear craft ore we come across, I'll pick up. So... Yep, there's some lithium. Oh, hey, look, I made a tunnel here. Um, nothing, nothing, nothing. Lithium. Lithium. Oh, there's... No, that's coal. Darn it. Diamond, quartz, magnesium. Electrotene's always useful. More diamond, coal. Uranium. Okay. Uh, all right. Um, what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go ahead and change our shape to five by five, and we're just gonna do this. All right. We're gonna mine all that because we have space. All right. Once again, any nuclear craft ores we come across, we mine right up. Uh, we'll have to start digging lower because we ran into a building. Let's go ahead and set this to 5x5 five five again. We're going to mine down. And then we're going to go right... Let's just go right here. 
Never mind. Let's go right here. Boom. So no excavate shape. Oh. Oh, I fell. <laughs> I was like, what? Electrotine. Magnesium. Yes, I'm leaving all these ores, and if that bothers you, I apologize. <laughs> I just don't feel like grabbing this. Hey, this must be a spawner. It is. It's a spider spawner. I wonder... Why, why, why is there a chest underneath the spawner, and why was there sandstone on top of it? This is kind of weird. Holding two, don't really need it. I'll grab the Man of Steel, because Man of Steel is always nice. Um, incredibly Atomic Wonder Capacitor, no thanks. Well, I'll grab it just in case. It's a storage tablet, I'll send both those, or I'll send that, and that, and that back. Yep. Alright. So, let's keep grabbing stuff. Oh, hey, Boron Ore. We can always use some more Boron. Um, and this is where it ended, but that's fine, because we'll just come over here and do it again. <clears throat> Pardon me, my throat kind of sounds a little funky right now. Ran into the ravine. Um, let's grab this. Um, let's try right here. Right there. That's going for a long time. That's good. Boom. That's perfect. Boom. Boom. Oh, we need some of that. I'm not going to grab any more Abyssal Knight, because we don't really need it. What is this? Wolf for my Tungsten. Nice. We need Tungsten. It's always good to grab that. Alright, we ran into a ravine, but luckily it kept going. There's some Uranium. Oh, come on. Grab that. Perfect. Lithium. Boron. Okay. Thorium. We're just kind of grabbing everything here. Ah, uh, there's some more lithium. Because we came for lithium, but, you know, we might as well grab all the nuclear craft ores while we're working on nuclear craft. Alright. Kind of ran into the end of this one. Alright, let's go keep going. Nice. Fulfill mighty deeds with my gold pickaxe. Excavate shape none. Alright, so this will be the last little bit that we'll collect. And we'll head back. Oh, that's a lapis. I thought that was Electrotine. Look at that baby skeletons that have already spawned. Look at all these little guys. Oh, come on. And then stonelings. Perfect. Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Magnesium. There's some Electrotine. We have plenty of Electrotine, but honestly, the more the merrier. There's no reason not to grab more. But like, we already have the osmonium seeds we're working on, gives us osmium. We have copper seeds, we have iron seeds, we have the quartz seeds, we have infinite coal anyway. Uh, we have emerald seeds. Uh, oh hey, destabil destabilized redstone ore is really nice. Um, actually, so let's go back through and see if any of the redstone ore that I missed is the destabilized version. Because I can show why we want that. That's regular. Um. Ooh, 
Oh, I want the hat. Yes. All right. Destabilized. Oh, one second. Somebody's here. I'll be right back. Don't you just love when Fennex drops off your neighbor's mail and then leaves? <sighs> love it. Okay. Let's keep looking around. Oh, thought I got it. Destabilized redstone, where you at? Destabilized redstone. I beg of you. Why is there a cobblestone there? Cobblestone meets or makes when water meets lava, but there's no water here. <laughs> That's strange. Okay, well, I guess it just formed anyway. Uh, one second.
All right, I'm back. Sorry about that. My mother called and FedEx dropped the package for our neighbors, and so I had to get it all sorted out. But let's keep going. We need some destabilized, well, we were looking around for destabilized redstone, or just some more of it while we were here. Um, if we'll find any more, I don't know. Just was hoping to see some more. Hmm. Maybe. No, it's not. It's not looking too hopeful. <laughs> well, that's all right. Um, yeah, the way I need to go is this way. Yeah, there's regular redstone. Um, unfortunate, but. All right. Well, that's. I'll show you what we'll use that for when we get back. So let's let's teleport home, and then I'm gonna yeah. All right, and then we're gonna throw all these ores into here for right now. Oh, I threw the dislocator into there. So, the destabilized redstone is nice because if you put that into the pulverizer, you'll get three destabilized clath rate and a 50% chance of cinnabar. If you put it in the magma crucible, you'll just get a uh, redstone. If you put it in the pulverizer with tectonic petrothium, you just have you get more destabilized clath rate. The sag mill has a 50% chance of cinnabar. Um, obviously, the grinding ball affects that. Um, Honestly, we might put it in the sag mill just because we have a good grinding ball. But we can also do, which I think we will do, um, is here in our pulverizer, we don't have any augments. What we should do is we should do two speed augments, which is not hard because we already have everything for two speed augments. Perfect. And then these ones, the secondary output, increases the chances of getting a secondary output. Which means we need to make some more bronze, which means copper, six copper, and two tin. And then what we'll do is we'll throw those into the alloy smelter. Perfect. And then make two of these secondary output increasers. They're actually called, what are they called? Auxiliary sieves. So if we throw in the two speed augments and the two sec auxiliary sieves, that will give us a higher percent chance of getting um, those cinnabar from the destabilized redstone. And cinnabars are really nice. Um, so cinnabar can be used, well, in ultimate crafting um, or in the induction smelter. And what it does is it gives you three of whatever you're smelting it with and a 75% chance of getting rich slag or 100% chance of getting the other ore that would be normally possible from that. So nickel has a 100% chance of giving you platinum. Um, but yeah, getting three from something is nice. Um, like, I'll show you... Draconium. And then it's a 75% chance of rich slag, which then you can use rich slag on draconium, and that will give you three as well. So, if we throw those into there, it'll work pretty fast, and it gives us cinnabar. Which, I actually don't know, um, hold on, I'm gonna open up a browser quick. Um, oops, didn't want to click on that. I'll pull that up over there. Um, thermal, auxiliary, auxiliary sieve. I'm just looking up how much of a percent chance it actually increases that secondary output. See, we got 9 from 14, which is slightly over 50%. It's 2 more than 50%. Uh, my thing is loading. But. Uh, the destabilized clath rates can be used in ultimate crafting, which we will eventually need. Um, Magma Crucible to make redstone, or you can make redstone with gelid cryothium. The best way to do it is 
in a magma crucible but honestly it's just i don't know i just hold on to them i don't find them like that useful but cinnabar is nice draconium yeah we have a little bit more draconium but uh thermal auxiliary sieve <clears throat> pardon me so if you have you can all install up to four even though it shows what it would do if you installed up to nine which and I, I don't know maybe actually that's why is because i think in the mod options for thermal uh thermal expansion or thermal phone no you can't go into the config there in the config somewhere i think you're able to change how many augment slots there are so i think you can set it so that hardened adds what you'd probably do is like two, four, six, and then nine. But it's actually just the chance multiplier. It doesn't increase it by a solid percentage. Um, so the two that we have in there is a 1.43 times multiplier. Versus if you were to put all four slots in there, you'd get a 2.5 chance multiplier. Meaning that you would get over 100%. You'd get more cinnabar than you bargained for. If you put five in, it's four times all the way up to seven, which is the max. Well, nine is the max, but it stops making a difference after seven. Seven gives you a times 20 chance multiplier, which, once again, I don't know how, why that's a thing, but it is. Um, let's see here. I'm going to click. Oh, no, I'm trying to look at this. Um, I'm looking at Thermal's website still, seeing if there's anything I need to click on to see if there's any thing I'm missing out on, like, I don't know, the, hmm, because there's like the Thermal Mediator, the aqu Aquatic Entangler, the Atom Allocator, Fluid Allocator, Lexical Transmuter, Insightful Condenser, Decoctive Diffuser, Factorizer, Creative Encapsulator, and Accumulator. What is a Insightful Condenser? I think that collects XP. Yeah, it collects nearby XP orbs and then stores it into Essence of Knowledge. Basically like an XP vacuum. There's the Lexical Transmuter, which um, converts I items into other items that are considered equivalent. Oh, okay. So it's, okay, yeah, it's the Forge Lexicon, but in block form. Um, fluid Allocator, Item Allocator, that's just for directing items around. Thermal Mediator. It uses coolants to speed up adjacent machines and dynamos. Okay. When a fluid coolant is supplied to a thermal mediator, it will begin consuming it to speed up any adjacent machines and dynamos. The rate at which coolant is consumed depends on the thermal capacity of the used coolant. Every tick, blocks adjacent to an active thermal mediator have a chance to perform additional work during that tick. This chance is equal to the coolant factor of the used coolant. Um, you can have redstone control... Uh, yeah. When it's active, it emits a light source of three. Interesting. So, if we look at dynamo quick, and we're to do this one, what you'll see is that it's the compression dynamo, but now it requires, um, coolant is required for each operation, and you need the thermal mediator. It actually requires the coolant now, whether you use jelly cryotheum or water. And so, it looks like the, how long it lasts is, is different. So, like, water lasts for very short, versus jelly cryotheum is pretty long. Um, and then, I don't know what the, percentage there is maybe that's just percent increase I'm unsure um, yeah if you use a compression dynamo you can use refined fuel for a million and a half RF but then you can also do greatly increases power generation and efficiency and it will make it so that it only can use refined fuel huh. all right so let's sort all this lithium Let's grab half a stack of lithium. What can this do? In pulverizer, it doesn't make anything extra. Yeah, induction smelter it just has a 5% chance of getting that. Um, 
Oh, I'll just show it through the, the furnace. So we want a stack of lithium. We're going to need a stack of feral barn, which means we need half a stack of steel and half a stack of boron. Which we don't have enough, so I'll just shove 50 boron through. Half a stack of boron. Perfect. Which means we need half a stack of iron, which we can grab from upstairs. And then I am... Um, we also need half a stack of coal coke, which I believe we have on hand. And if not, I can just make some. Yeah. 32. All right. And I believe coal coke you can also do in the, yeah, the alloy furnace. And it only requires one coal coke to two iron. It makes two steel. But, I don't know. This is also just really fast. We have this set up. It's it's fine. Look at all that zinc. Okay. So there's the 32 steel. We'll throw the steel and the boron in there together. So we have how many open slots? Okay. We have 10 open slots. We're going to grab 9. 9 stacks. And shove them down into here so we can make blocks. So we can consolidate some of our storage, because we have a ton. So like if we look up ingot, what you'll notice is we have tons of stacks of tin. We can throw those in there too. Um, it's still doing aluminum. Ingots, um, do we have anything else that we have a ton of? Doesn't look like it. Uh, besides what's in here. Alright. There we go. Feral boron and lithium. Yeah, lithium, tough alloy you can make in the ingot former, the alloy furnace, or in the smeltery, but smeltery takes forever. And you can do it in the salt mixer too, if you have like lithium 7, but that requires you to isotope lithium and stuff. And actually, can you make lithium? Uh, can you do anything with the lithium? Uh, lithium, if you put it into the isotope separator, make lithium 7. That doesn't do anything. Does lithium 6 do anything? Oh, it, it does in the fusion reactor, but not in the fission reactor. Okay. Okay. So, we're going to need a lot of this tough alloy, but that's fine. We got a lot going. <laughs> Um, so what we really should start doing is designing it. <laughs> and actually, I also want to make an energy cell for it. So uh, if we grab out, if we grab lead to make a lead gear, oops, and then make a lead gear. the energy cell frame and make an energy oh we need electrum gold silver put those in here together boom and then filled energy cell perfect so we're actually also going to go ahead and, and quote unquote from me, um, we're going to make the upgrade kits for this. So, we have, okay, well, silver, we need 10. It's, why does it take so long to put silver into my inventory? I don't understand it. Oh, probably because it's also routable from there, and so it's deciding which one, maybe? I'm not sure. Four gold. That should fulfill copper. We need six. Tin, we need four. We need a platinum. Four lead. Four obsidian powder. Um, oh, crap. 
Whoa, what, else am I think what else am I thinking? Oh, four glowstone, ten redstone. Which we can just grab from the other guy. And then four redstone, or four glowstone. So in, in the alloy smelter, we're going to throw in ten redstone, three copper, and one silver. And then we're going to throw in four silver and four gold. And then we're going to throw in the sagmel a single lead. What we'll do is we'll throw that and that in there. And then in there we'll throw in that and that. And then we need four pearls as well. And then two sand, which, yeah, I don't have in there. Okay. So four pearls, and then throw in two sand. Darium base. So we need electrum gear. Oh, I didn't grab the stuff for the invar. Oh, that's fine. Boom, boom. Okay. So, bronze gear, lumium gear. Do we have any invar? Oh, oh that's barrel bulk. Storage template. Invar on hand, we have one. That's perfect. Um, so, iron, we need two. And then we need a nickel. Oops. Nickel. Which means we need redstone. Oops, let's open the other one. Actually, let's do this one first. So, hardened glass makes the reinforced upgrade kit. Now we need one, two, three, four. Um, then we need to make the hardened upgrade kit. And we can do. this then that makes a resonant one one and then we need a snowball okay that makes cryothium and then cryothium makes signalum so we're gonna upgrade boom so let's place down this energy cell and we're gonna upgrade it all the way and we're gonna pick it back up yeah our magnet is on how many holding books do we have? We need more. <laughs> Stupid. Okay. So from barrel bulk, I'll pull out just the blocked XP because we're nearly at 40 levels anyway. Solidified experience to not block XP. <laughs> I was like, wait, why does block XP sound wrong? Because oh, it is. Because it is just wrong. Um, and so it's four levels to uh, to then go ahead and um, apply the enchantment. As far as I know, it's four levels. Because that's what it is for the bags. Holding. Energy cell. Holding. Yeah, four. Right there. So now this can hold 150 million RF. Uh, and we're going to use that to store energy from our fission reactor. Now, I don't know how big we're going to want this. Um, but I can pull up the coolers quick from Nuclear Craft and show you some things. So we're not going to use any active coolers um, or a superconducting one. Um, but we're going to use all these, uh, all these ones. And what they have is different requirements. Um, so like this redstone one, it must be adjacent to one reactor cell. At least one reactor cell. Uh, gold has to be next to a water cooler and one valid redstone cooler. Um, and so each of these has different things. And this has to be like exactly three reactor casings. And so we're going we're gonna to be making a lot of these. But what we're going to do is we're going to actually use a whole bunch of different blocks from in here to denote which cooler we're going to use. So for the 
fuel rods. Let's just use dirt. Um, so we're gonna go up the, I mean, the base will be sitting there. So we're gonna want the fuel cells on this level. Okay. And what we're gonna want is these cryothium ones, which it needs to be reactive to two reactor cells. And so if I place a reactor cell there, there, and then we do that, that. Um, then we can put cryothium in between all four of those. Um, this needs to be a reactor cell. Um, because what I could also do is no, I don't want to do that. What I will do though is that. We're not actually all, we'll destroy some of this dirt. Okay, so that's what it's gonna be. Is there's gonna be four there in the center and then these are also gonna be cryothium. So cryothium will denote with uh, frost burn ice. And we just gotta keep that in mind, what we're denoting each of them with. Now, there are the graphite moderator blocks. Um, which we'll use basalt for. Um, but I actually need to think about this. So the, the main coolers that we're going to want to use is the diamond ones, which need to be next to one valid water cooler and one valid quartz cooler. Um, and the quartz cooler is right there. It needs to be at next to one active moderator block, which then it also needs to be next to a water cooler, which can be next to a reactor cell or active moderator. And then the other p things we're gonna use are the redstone ones, because then the gold ones need to be next to water and redstone, and the irons just need to be next to gold. So it's a little bit complicated to think about, and like you can look, you can, there's an app that I actually have, an application here on my computer. Um, I don't remember what it's called, I don't see it. Maybe I got rid of it. Um, but it's literally, it's meant for designing one of these fission reactors. It, you can draw out each layer and it will tell you whether something is valid or not. Um, so, water, we don't want to put it next to a reactor cell, we'll want to put it next to an active moderator block. Uh, so... Okay, netherrack is redstone cooler. And see, the thing is, we'll want... If we have to split it up between redstone and water coolers, because this needs to be next to yeah, either one of them, in the end, if we want one or m one, if we want more of one than the other, we're gonna want more redstone because it has a better cooling rate than the water. So, if we do this as a water cooler, um, I'm gonna use a lapis block, I think, because I don't use lapis coolers ever because it can. There's far better uses for your space than lapis coolers. Um, so we'll just throw those into there. There. Alright, so there's a water cooler. And then a redstone cooler, redstone cooler, redstone cooler, redstone cooler. Okay. And then... What we're going to have then is... Oh, crap. Um... <laughs> Let's see here. Um... Because diamond are really good, but they're also the, the same as uh, gold. I like the diamond ones, but... Because hmm. <laughs> now... Now what I'm thinking is... Four active moderator blocks. 
Um, in between the redstone and the water is going to be the gold one. So what I'll do is barrel bulk. Let's just grab four stacks of gold, which I could have just grabbed out the lapis from there too. I just wasn't thinking. Um, which I actually need to grab four gold from there so that it doesn't clog up. So gold between there. Right. So now diamond needs to go between an active water one and an active quartz one. Quartz needs to be next to an active moderator block. So what I'm thinking is instead of having these reactor cells here and the frostburn ice here, let's remove that outside ring because all it affects is itself. It doesn't affect these redstone or interior ones. And what we're going to do is we're going to replace them, but we're going to place them up a level. So it'll be there, 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 there. And then we'll actually do the corners as well. And keep in mind, we're doing one half, and so we're doing the upper half here. What we'll do is we'll just reflect that down, or mirror it downwards. Um, so we have an equal bottom and half, or, yeah, bottom and top, but we're only designing half of it, because that's all we need to design. So, frostburn ice, can go between all these. Like so. And then... So the iron coolers only do 120, that's fine. Quartz do 160. All right, so active moderator blocks. Oops. Active moderator, like so. And then what we'll do is we'll grab out quartz, or we'll use quartz blocks. So we'll do, well, actually, yes, okay. Wait, that needs to be next to... What else needs to be next to redstone? That... Um, one active moderator block and one reactor cell. Uh, okay. Glowstone, lapis... Reactor casing... Huh, okay. Because what we could do is that, and then have two waters there, because in between all that, we can do diamond. So, barrel bulk. Let's throw four diamonds back into there. Let's use some diamond blocks to denote. So a diamond one can go there, because it's between an active water and a quartz. And theoretically, between this um, redstone and this water, we could put a gold one. I don't know if that would help us here. I don't think it would. Maybe. Um, I don't believe so. Well, because what we could do is, right here's a reactor cell. And what we can do is we can place gold, 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 gold. And then here on these moderator blocks, we can place um, like a water and then a, oh, but this is next to, so we could place a, a redstone there. And then, hmm, this is right next to a reactor cell. Let's see here. Alternatively, 
Yeah, because right here we, we can use something. Redstone, and then what if we were to do... No, nope, that wouldn't work. Um... So... <laughs> Some of this stuff is kind of hard to think about a little bit, but that's kind of the fun in trying to think about it. So... If we put an active moderator block there, we could put glowstone between it. Um, but would that help us? Um, here in the middle, do we even want those quartz ones? Because what are they sitting on top of? No, they're sitting on top of gold. So, yeah, those are fine where they are. Because um, what we can do now is we can do quartz on top of these active moderator cells. And we can put diamond there, 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 and there. No. We cannot, because those two are just quartz. So if we were to swap these out for water... By grabbing out more of our lapis blocks and diamond and gold... Up those out. Now we can put diamond there and there. And we can't put right anything in the center because nothing just needs to be attached to, to diamond. Um, oh, and then we can put water there and there. And there. You know what? Let's grab out barrel bulk. One, two, three, four. Throw the lapis in there. Let's make some more lapis blocks. Or would it be helpful if instead of... Um, oh, you know what? Let's reverse these. So these diamond blocks here in the middle can go... Well... No, because if we were to place these ones with water, these could not be gold. But let's try it. Let's try it, let's try it, let's try it. We'll see what that looks like. So what I'm thinking is we just want to replace these, because we're ending up with a lot more lapis ones than quartz ones, and they both have the same requirement, so why not use quartz? Oh, hey. So quartz, all here in the middle, middle and on the outsides. Like that. And then we need a lapis there, 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 and there. Okay, and so that allows us to put diamond on all these. Okay. Now, next to a redstone. Um, one valid water and one valid redstone. So we don't have one down in there, but that's fine. Um, actually, would it be worth it to swap this one out for a redstone, or a water... Oh, hey, right here in the center now, because there's a valid quartz in a water, boom. Um, shoot. See, those are sitting on top of reactor cells, and we have gold between them. But I mean... Like, if I were to dig all those out, oh, I dig up frostburn ice, right, and if instead of a water there in the center, or, yeah, um, if instead we did, um, Four. 
So what I could do is I could put like a moderator block right there. No, I don't want to do that. What I want to end up with is like... I want to fill up this space right here. And I could place a diamond there if there's a water here. But then how do I fill up this space? Redstone. But if I do the four redstone, then I can place... Then I can't place anything. Oh, but then there's also basalt there, which I could place water... There... Okay. Oh, hey, um, so what I'm seeing here is we could place, um, like redstone there, and then we could still place gold in here, like that. And then here in the center, we could do, I don't know, what do we want to do? On that center block, I'll place oh, a redstone. Yeah. So what we'll do is we'll do redstone on all these. And then because there's going to be water on them, we can place gold. Yep. And then since there is water and... Oh, we could do... Since there's water and quartz, we could technically do a diamond... But if we do a gold, we can place iron on top of that. Here, it's just... Oh, yeah, we can do gold. Gold all around. Let's grab out barrel bulk. Let's grab out stacks of iron. And let's make some iron blocks. To denote iron coolers. And then here, there's a cell and quartz. Um... Now, there's water coolers there, which means we might have extra space. One reactor cell. If we place a moderator right there, nothing, we could not do anything special with it. We'd have to just place something. Um... Lapis coolers, reactor casing, and one active moderator block. Yeah. Um, so up in each corner, I want to do endearium because usually the, the corners with, with a design like this is not um, used, filled, and so endearium is always nice to put in the corners. Plus, it's 280. It's not bad. Um, let's grab out our iron. We can place all those there. So, that's all right. Now, huh, um, if we're to place, well, let's go through each of these. We could place a redstone cooler there and put an endearium one. Uh, or we could do, um, one reactor cell and one reactor casing. Yep. Which... To at least one reactor cell and one reactor casing. Okay, so you could put lapis there. Diamond, can't put those there. No. Um, helium, no. Enderium, that'd be in the corner. Cryothium, no, because it's not two cells. Uh, one reactive moderator block, nope. One glowstone, no. Because glowstone needs to be two between two active moderator blocks. Um, two lapis must be adjacent to at least two valid lapis along the comet. No. Um, and then magnesium is one reactor casing and one active moderator block. So I think the highest thing that we can put in on that spot is going to be um, a lapis cooler. So. Because it needs to be out uh, next to at least one reactor cell and one reactor casing. So we could put a lapis cell there. Which I've been placing lapis as water because I didn't think I would use lapis. 
Um, well. Hmm. That's unfortunate. I mean, we could place redstone, it would just be at a loss of 40 heat per tick, but one active moderator, one active cell, one valid water, one valid redstone, two active moderator. I'm trying to look through and see if there's anything I missed. I don't think so. I think lapis is the way to go, um, which just means that for lapis blocks, we'll just use uh, something else. For lapis blocks, blocks, let's just use lead. Because there is no lead cooler. And so then in the corners are going to be the enderium coolers, which means... Sure, platinum. Yeah, sure. I don't care. As long as we have something to denote them. And then now we need to finish down here. So. I could place active moderators blocks here and here, and that would mean I could place emerald coolers between them. Or I could place, like, redstone cooler there, and a water cooler there, and I could place gold there. That wouldn't help. That'd be more annoying than anything. Um, let's do that and that, and then that and that. And what that means is now we can do emerald blocks. So let's throw emeralds into there. I'm going to throw my wrench into my backpack temporarily. Um, and the crafting stuff. Okay, so between... Emeralds need to be between one active moderator block and a reactor cell, which that's a reactor cell and an active moderator block. Same there and same there. So let's reflect that. Mirror that. Now... I could place a moderator block right there and do it again. Or is there anything else we'd rather do? Anything else that's more worth... Actually, no. This is the highest bang for our buck. Because nothing else beats 280 besides uh, cryothium. The only other thing that can match it is more 280s. And if we're already filling the space with 280, it doesn't matter. Okay. So we just need to reflect this on both halves. Um, which I don't remember how it's built. <laughs> so. Okay. Um, yeah, it's three blocks. I didn't actually expect it to go that high, I don't think. Yep, okay, so let's build the pattern that the diamond blocks make on the top, which is like that. Yep, and there's five iron. Okay, and see all blocks are used? That's nice, it means there's no air gaps, no unused space in our system. And yes, there are things I could be using right now to make sure it gets reflected properly, but I don't much care. Oh, that's not meant to be iron. That's meant to be a lapis. Okay, and then the corners are enderium. Which we're representing with la uh, platinum. And then I know... Hold on, let's remove these... Okay, beneath the, beneath the iron is gold. Obviously. Um, but what's beneath these diamond? Oh. Oh, these diamond ones can't even go here. There's water coolers. Oh. So I placed those incorrectly. Those cannot be diamond coolers. Huh. 
Does that need to be... Yeah, that needs to be water. Uh... I mean, if I were to swap the water and the quartz here, it wouldn't cause any issues on... No, okay. So these diamond ones can stay. Um, so we're just going to swap the quartz and the water. Because it doesn't affect anything else. Like, the quartz doesn't affect anything but diamond coolers. The waters do affect other things, but they're not there. Um, so, let's grab quartz. Where's... Do we not have any in the system? I guess not. Okay, so instead of having a water there and then two quartz down below, we're going to have two waters and a quartz. Waters, quartz, two waters, two waters, and quartz. And then that means now we can place diamonds there. So this is actually quartz. Okay, that makes sense. Um, so yeah, beneath these ones are water. Water's there. Okay, and then we actually need more blocks of diamond. Do we have any more? We don't. Oh no. Let's go ahead and grab some diamond then. We've been building this for so long that we've gone through so many carrots just to keep our night vision. That should be good for right now. Um, so... Yeah, now comes the... There's an active moderator block there, 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 and there. And then there's water next to all of those. And then there is redstone on top of these gold ones. What's... Uh, yeah, what's behind this reactor cell? Gold? Okay. Hold on, everybody, one second. Alright, everyone, um, I'll be right back. Uh, I have to stop stream because they're going to cut off our power quick. Uh, they got to do some meter changes and stuff. Um, I won't, I'll, obviously my computer's going to be off. So I'm going to end stream and then I'll come back after the power's back on. Um, but nothing will be different. So I'll see you guys soon. Thank you all for tuning in.